Well, Ubuntu 12.10 has finally been released, and let me start by saying how disappointed I am with this release. And I bet you wouldn't have thought I'd say that, because I've been quite a fan of Ubuntu, and I even use it as my main operating system. But with this release, I had a lot of trouble getting it installed. I even had to break out a terminal to get it going, something I haven't had to do since Ubuntu 9.10. And I also had a lot of trouble with applications crashing when I'm trying to save data. So my confidence has been absolutely shattered with this release. And in fact, I would go to a point now I'm saying I am not going to use it until the problems are sorted or until a few months away. So Ubuntu 12.10 is only supported for the next 18 months. Unlike the previous release, Ubuntu 12.04, which was a long-term support release, which is supported for five years. So one of the key new features of this release is the web apps. So with certain websites, you can create a shortcut within the Unity launcher. So I've got one there for YouTube, and there are other sites like Gmail as well. Although I'm finding with the final release that it doesn't always appear. So we shall try another site. Funny enough, that worked absolutely fine during the testing. Right, here you go. When you go to a web apps enabled site, it says, would you like to install for extra features on quicker access? So sure, why not? And there you go, you've got a shortcut to it in the launcher. Now, OMG Ubuntu and YouTube don't really do anything that special there, but something like the Gmail one shows you how many emails you have unread. Now, also on this release, we have the Amazon searches. So you can see here, when I was typing GTK record my desktop, we've also got Amazon searches appearing. So if I, if I try and type in something else, uh, like Quantile install, it shows you the shopping suggestions and I find it does slow things down a bit. And something else that we get in this release is a new preview feature. Because this is on the Ubuntu One Music Store, you can play a preview of it within the launcher. So that's quite a nice feature. And it also works for the documents as well. So there you are, I get a little preview of it, and you've got the options to email or show in folder. Nautilus in this release of Ubuntu has been held back, so it's actually the same version that we had in Ubuntu 12.04. So other changes that we can see in this release of Ubuntu. On the shutdown menu, we now have restart back again. That used to be under the shutdown button in 12.04. Uh, the rest of the menus there are as they were. Being gone about this computer, and you get the updates here for some reason. Once again, the graphics driver is coming up as unknown, and it's an NVIDIA graphics card. The additional driver install is now in software sources, and for some reason it's very laggy to open, so I'm going to cut this part of the video out where it's taking its sweet time. So there we go, additional drivers. And we can see we are using the NVIDIA driver, but just simply installing the NVIDIA driver through there resulted in the system failing. Another feature of it being centered more around internet activity is the online accounts. So you can log in through these and you get like you get additional features appearing. So say so like with Google, you can then share images straight onto Picasa through Shotwell. And with Twitter, then I could use a social lens in the Unity launcher. However, I've not logged in this time, so none of that's appearing. I did do it on the new additions to Unity in my previous video. Now, if you don't like the shopping results in the Unity launcher, you can turn them off here. So when searching the dash, turn it off, and you'll find the dash becomes a lot more responsive. So typing in solitaire now, I just get solitaire and none of the shopping results. So at least there is a way of turning it off now if you don't like the shopping results. Let's take a look at what Ubuntu 12.10 comes pre-installed with. Then we use the application lens and filter the results down and actually let's full screen it, just makes it a bit easier to see. This is one downside of Unity that it's not so quick to search around through the applications, but if you know what you're after, I actually find it a lot quicker to use. So I'm not reading all these out. Let's just start under games, so we've got a few basic games there. Under internet, which is all the same selection of software you've got in Ubuntu 12.04, so you've got desktop sharing, empathy internet messenger, Firefox for the web browser, Gwibber, social client, another remote desktop, Thunderbird for email, and transmission for downloading torrent files. Under Office, so we've got LibreOffice, and you can see that's LibreOffice version 3.6. System, yeah, I'm not reading all that out. So accessories, we've got a few accessories on here, so we've got the Archive Manager, Deja Duck Backup, 
calculator, character map, contacts, uh, this is disk mounter, isn't it? Oh no, that's just a disk formatter. I just renamed it. Uh, Nautilus file manager, font viewer, help, iBus settings, privacy, screenshot, terminal, gedit text editor, and your time and date. Under graphics, so we've got document viewer, image viewer, LibreOffice draw, Shotwell photo manager, and simple scan. And lastly, under media, well, I've installed a couple of extra things here, but what it comes pre installed with is Brazio disk burner. Totem movie player, rhythm box, music player, and a sound recorder. The other three are screencasters there, and that's what I've had to add in the hope that one of them will work properly without crashing. However, Tabesti and Kazam both crashed, and I hate using GTK Record My Desktop. Here's what I thought of Ubuntu 12.10. So easy to use, well, not as easy to use as Ubuntu 12.04 was, particularly because they've moved where you get the application updater and the driver installer. So ease of installation, yeah, it's actually quite easy to install. You've got a graphical installer and it's easy enough to install to dual boot with Windows. So styling, yeah, there's some nice glossy effects now in Unity and, and Unity does look a bit smarter now. At boot up speed, uh, not as good as it could be because my boot up has this issue where it says I'm unable to open the file for AMD microcode, or something, so I can't remember the full wording. It just turns out it's missing a package, that's all. Uh, responsiveness uh, is a lot better when you switch off the Unity shopping lens, so you don't display the Amazon results, it does work a bit quicker. Uh, so a number of bugs, that's the lowest I've rated the Linux distro before, one out of five. So as I mentioned there, the AMD CPU package is not also installed, the Nvidia installer failed, and application crashes when saving. These are all pretty much high impact bugs, and particularly with the application crashes, I've got no faith in the operating system. So anyway, selection of pre-installed apps. It's pretty good, but you don't get the proprietary codex due to um, patent issues, but they're easily installed during the installer. If you get the option there, install third-party install third party codex, or you can install the Ubuntu restricted extras package from the software center. The number of apps available. I sort of felt with this release that there could be a lot more than there were available in the software centre. I don't think it's actually gone down, or perhaps they're just there's more you can get now in 12.04, but it just felt a bit limited this time around. And yet you've got 32 and 64-bit versions. So the good points. The preview feature in Unity can be quite useful, it's quite a nice add-on there. And you've got the improved integration of the global menu, so that means the menu at the top of the screen. The bad points, oh, right, web apps doesn't open new tabs in Firefox, that's a bit annoying because you can easily do that with, oh look what I've done there, a Gmail checker in 1204 and that does open a new tab. Um, there's too many high impact bugs, as I mentioned above there, and shopping lens in Unity is poorly implemented. That could have been done a lot better, I reckon. So an overall of 65%. Oh dear, that is a very disappointing score for Ubuntu. So my advice would be to stay on Ubuntu 12.04. It's supported for the next five years, unlike what Ubuntu 12.10 would be, which is only supported for the 18 months. So let's hope Ubuntu 13.04 will be a bit better. So thanks for watching, see you later.